All right, all right, all right. So I uploaded a video yesterday showcasing my trainer for Dishonored, which uh, you guys wanted a tutorial on this GUI or interface. So uh, it's an add-on NuGet package, which is called Google Material or something similar which you can just uh, let me create a new form for this it's free hand I will use so you can learn more about it use all the functions no not functions use all of the features but if you just want to apply it to your forms then follow this tutorial we have our usual windows forms very ugly very boring but we want to use the material form. So we'll go to manage NuGet packages. We go to browse. We search for Google material. And it should, actually it's material skin. So we will pick the second one believe it's more updated so click install okay it's done so if we go back to the form nothing has happened that's because we haven't uh, inherited from the google material form yet so to inherit to the google material form we will have to create our reference. So using material skin. Here we go. Using material skin dot controls are those we need. I don't know if we need any and a few more we'll see but when you have added material skin and material skin dot controls we can inherit from material form so if we go back you will see that the form changed to this clean looking form instead now we need to add some or a couple more things to use the tab system in Google material so uh, in the showcasing I had multiple tabs so I had one main tab for uh, unlimited ammo and so on those features there which uh, change some instructions and the second page was the object or entity list so uh, in this tutorial we will add some tabs as well now how do we do that we search for tab control we use the material tab control we add it we click on the tab control and go down to dock we select the middle one so it will work for the whole form or it will be an overlay now we have two tab pages I don't think you will actually see it if you start a program it's not uh, used by the form one but uh, we will click on the form go to properties and now we need to find the tab control so I maybe have already oh it's drawer drawer tab control and you click down and you choose the material tab control that we created so when that's selected we can now add some uh, pictures and some dimensions to do to these tabs 
how we do that is we add an image list. Click on the image list. We choose the image size, so we choose 32 by 32. And we use the 32 bit depth. We choose some images. Let me just select some images. And there we go. So I have one, two, three tabs. Uh, we will remove the second, or we have two images. So we have a home icon and we have a settings icon. We'll leave those B for the moment and we go back to the tab control. We go down to the image list. There's supposed to be one image list, which is none. We select our image list that we created. And now we click on the tab page one. You can now select between those two. You click on the tab page. You click on the... Can we go directly there? No. All right, so you click on the tab page. We go down to... I think we can actually just set the image key here. So here we have the image key. We just set our home. We try to find the text, tab page one. We just rename it to home. So we have our tab one, which is home. We have our tab two, which uh, should perhaps be the settings tab. I only have a settings icon, so it will be the settings this time. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, all right, where is the image image key choose the icon again now change the text to settings amazing so now we have some tabs we have not yet initialized uh, the material form yet, so I don't know if it will actually show up when we load this project. But to initialize the material skin manager, or uh, we have to declare it. We will do it in the not in the load. We will do it under the form one or the. Uh, constructor right yeah that's a constructor so we declare material skin manager equals material skin manager dot instance so now we can add our form to the skin manager form to manage this so if you didn't add or inherit inherited the material form you would get an arrow here so remember to add the material form to the inherited material skin manager dot theme and here you choose the theme so You can choose light or dark. I will choose dark. Material skin manager. That's color scheme. And now you choose a new color scheme. So for the showcase, this was my color scheme. So new color scheme. Primary dot purple. 800 uh, the next one is primary but 900 next one is 900 as well 
I don't have a clue how to mix colors, so it, at least for me it looked a bit off, but you guys you guys seem to like the design anyways, so I'll provide you with my uh, color scheme. Not text, text shade. There we go. So that's the color scheme. And have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. Let's run our for. Let me just change the text. Cool uniform. <coughs> wow, that's amazing. So we have our tab control which looks very nice i love this i will keep be keeping or will be using this in the future as well so let's add some other controls to find which ones are the material just search material here we have button card checkbook box checklist box combo box divider don't know what that is drawer expansion panel a lot of stuff so uh, let's add a text box let's uh, you can add text loader let's add a radio button Hmm, that looks a bit off. Well, who knows? It probably changes to the cor correct color scheme anyways. Uh, you even have a progress bar. You have all of the controls that you might want. So one thing that can be a bit tricky is the list view so here we have a list let's run the form there we go yeah so it looks fine when you load it don't worry about that here is the list view let's add some columns for that because uh, in the showcase I also had a list view with uh, which had the columns base address health max health and other stuff so you can click on the material list view click on this little arrow edit columns not items and add one column it will have the text name so it's a bit sh short we need at least 100 in width so we'll add another column we will call it age it will also be it will be 90 in width so here we have two columns now the thing is when you add items uh, programmatically when I go into the form we'll add some via the load method so you have the material list view dot items dot add now for the usual win form you can just add stuff and stuff and stuff and so on but it doesn't work like that you will have to add a list view item so item list. maybe it's just list view 
Uh, let me check with my... Uh, hmm. Here we go. So it's a list view item like that. So we create a new item. We set the item.txt. So this is the first column equals uh, sweat, which is me. Now to add to the next column, you will have to use sub items to add. So sub items, then another text. I am 19. So we'll add 19. Now that we have uh, how many columns? It, uh, two. Now that we have added text for both the main or the first column and the second column, we can add item to the list view. Run it. It should give us sweat and ID. Wow. Very cool. So what's what's stopping you is only your imagination at this part. Uh, if you want more help on these Google material forms, I suggest taking a look at the GitHub because you shouldn't need more help after this. Uh, thank you guys if you watched this far. Comment. Uh, hmm, what should you comment if you watched this far? Comment. Sved sucks. And I will pin the comment. Alright. See you guys.